What's going on guys? Welcome back to Black Tide TV, bringing you the best of all things gaming each and every day. Today I've got a golden weapon review for you, and we may also do another Elder Scrolls Online bonus video, so make sure you're subscribed so that you'll get the notification when that video comes out. Also, follow me on Twitter at Black Tide TV, as I always comment over there if I am going to release a bonus video or not. Today we've got the golden weapon review on the Razorback happening, because the last golden weapon review poll revealed that you guys wanted to see the Shiva over this SMG. The Shiva has already been done. If you missed that video, I've included included a link to it in the description box below and in the card in the top right corner so click on either of those if you missed that shiva golden weapon review after today's review on the razorback we'll be going to the m8a7 which is the final assault rifle and that will conclude the golden weapon reviews on the base weapons in this game after that we'll be getting into our weapon camo showcases and i'm not sure if i'm going to be doing dlc golden weapon reviews or not let me know in the comment section down below if you would want to see that in the future the Razorback is a criminally underrated weapon in my opinion. Despite my own love-hate relationship that I've had with this weapon since launch of this game, I've always been a fan of it. I think this is one of my favorite SMGs in the game. It was my number one top pick for a long time before I finally decided to start using the VMP and the Weevil a little bit more. I even used one of my permanent unlock tokens on this weapon and if you're new to the channel you may not understand but i am extremely extremely stingy when it comes to using my permanent unlock tokens on things of course i'm master prestige now so it doesn't matter but at the time i used the permanent unlock token to get the razor back full time because it's one of the last weapons that you get in the game and it is one of the best in my opinion so what can be said about the Razorback? Let's start with Treyarch really, really loves their hybrid and sub-hybrid weapons. The Razorback really reminds me of the Peacekeeper from Black Ops 2 in the way that it's somewhat of an assault rifle SMG hybrid weapon. Maybe it's also because the strap that goes across the weapon actually says the word peace on it, but I don't know. Although it features the characteristically low damage of an SMG, the Razorback assault rifle-esque damage over range allows it to earn long range kills in just four shots while other SMGs take five to seven. So this is a really powerful weapon when you're using it at medium to medium long to long range. It's insane how powerful this thing is over ranges. It's even better than some of the assault rifles in the game. So here is where you would normally find some kind of balancing claws on the weapon. For example, you can get a four shot kill at long ranges, but the accuracy is just so garbage that you're never going to be able to hit those four shots but this is perhaps my favorite aspect of this weapon it has the best accuracy of all of the in-game smgs and it also has a beautiful iron sight that's not going to obstruct your view too much when you're engaging enemies at medium long to long ranges so what is the balancing factor on the razorback there's got to be at least one, and there is, it's a very, very minor balancing factor. It's not going to cause you that much heartache. It's the, uh, the damage over range isn't the only assault rifle trait or quality that the Razorback actually adopts. It also has a slower fire rate and reload speed, more like the assault rifles than the SMGs in this game. So it's nothing damning, it's just that it's not going to fire as fast as all the other SMGs, which is actually kind of good because this SMG you're using at longer ranges, if you were trying to fire this thing and it's firing at like 900 rounds per minute, it's going to be hard to aim at enemies that are really far away. So it's kind of good that it actually has a slower fire rate, but of course when you're in close range engagements, you're not going to have a good time with this weapon. But even if you're worried about the slow fire rate, the slow reload speed, rapid fire and fast mags fixes the problem for you just just that easy so it's nothing to nothing to get all worked up about you're not going to have a rough time using this weapon at all although the hip fire accuracy is more smg than assault rifle try to aim down your sights for your gunfights the razorback is made for accuracy and range not for running and gunning and all that standard smg stuff so now you have an SMG that's pretty powerful in medium, medium, long range engagements. It fires and reloads fairly slowly, therefore performing a little bit more poor in close quarters engagements. So you're not going to want to engage multiple enemies at a time, especially in close quarters. And you're not going to want to play objective modes. For once, I'm not going to recommend objective modes like Domination or Hardpoint. I'm actually going to be recommending something a little bit different. 
This time we've got Team Deathmatch, Kill Confirmed, or Search and Destroy are the way to go. Team Deathmatch and Kill Confirmed, I find that you're always running around the map and meeting individual players. The most amount of people you'll usually find at once in a Team Deathmatch or in a Kill Confirmed is two, and that is something that the Razorback can handle, whereas in Domination and Hardpoint, you'll go to the Domination at B-Dom, and there'll be like four enemies on that B-Dom, especially if you're playing Ground War. Ground War is a big no-no for this weapon, but Domination, you'll find like four players on beat at a time hard point you'll find four to six players in the hard point or attacking the hard point at a time and the razorback cannot handle that because it fires a little bit too slow and it has to get four shots on your targets to get a kill you're going to be struggling when you're engaging multiple enemies at once especially in close quarters so you're going to want to engage at most two people at a time and if you do find that you're engaging more than those two people rapid fire and extended mags are the way to go just because for whatever reason this weapon seems to shoot through its ammo very very fast and i don't know why it does that because it's firing so slow but i just find that when i'm playing with it i'll be going and i'll be having a good time and then i'll be out of ammo like I've, I'm like, I've only killed four people, how am I out of ammo? But it just happens that way. And it's just something you gotta get used to when you're using the Razorback. So you never wanna engage more than two people at a time. If you do find yourself in a situation where you come up and you're looking at more than two enemies, don't even shoot at any of them. Just go away, like run away, find a better place to stack up and wait for them to attack you one at a time. So Search and Destroy, also a very, very good game mode for this weapon because Search and Destroy everyone spreads out in search and destroy there's no not a lot of people will tend to stick together until the bomb is planted in search so you'll have a much better time of finding individual people to kill and i think that this weapon is actually really good in search and destroy just because it's a longer ranged weapon and it's it's like a long range weapon with short range potential so it's it's very good for almost all situations and that's what you need in search and destroy when you're playing against pubs pubs in particular because you're not sure what they're going to do so you're going to want to force long range engagements in whatever game mode you're playing by stacking up and hitting enemies at choke points like doors or corners. So this is how you're going to force them to come at you one at a time. If they know that you're in a certain location and you know that they need to come through that door to get to your location, stack up somewhere, head glitch something and just shoot at the door. Wait for them to come through the door and you've got them pinched especially when you have teammates blocking them at other intersections of the map so that the only way for them to get into your spawn, which is the number one goal of a team deathmatch and kill confirmed, or even a search and destroy, the only way for them to get into your spawn is to go through that door and face you 1v1 through that door when you have the drop on them. In your class, you should probably run fast hands just because it allows you to draw your weapon faster after sprinting. That might give you a little bit of a fighting chance if you run into a VMP user or somebody using an SMG that will fire faster. Fast hands will always help help you because you get to draw your weapon like a little bit faster, like a second or not even a second faster. It may seem like a small amount of time, but it will do wonders for you. Like it will be insane how helpful it'll be to be able to draw your weapon just that little bit faster because you usually have to get one extra shot on them. And you're again, your weapon is firing a little bit slower. Another thing that you should probably run, as I discussed, the Razorback runs out of ammo really quickly for whatever reason, so Scavenger is a good bet as well. For your specialist, I would recommend you use Ripper or Heatwave. Those are two really good options for close range engagements. If you run into enemies that are right up in your grill, you can just rip them or you can heatwave them and jump away and get a shot at them. Basically, any specialist is gonna help you in close range is gonna be good for this weapon. I'm trying to think of some off the top of my head and I can't right now, I'm sorry, but uh, Heatwave and Ripper are the way to go. Those are two of my favorite specialist abilities in the entire game, if you haven't clued into that already by the amount of times I've recommended them through our Golden Weapon, our Golden Weapon Reviews. Moving on to attachments, the Razorback doesn't really need any attachments. I was using it today, just trying to get a feel for it again, and I wasn't using it with any attachments, just six perks, and I was going off. So the Razorback is really, really powerful without attachments. I think it's really well balanced. Yes, it fires a little bit slowly. You can put on a uh, rapid fire for that. Yes, it reloads a little bit slowly. You can put on fast mags for that. Yes, if you're if you're engaging more than two enemies at a time, you can put on extended mags. You can put on grip to make the amazing accuracy even more amazing. You can put on quick draw so that you have a quicker that you have more reaction time when you run into enemies at close ranges. Uh, like you can do anything with this weapon with any attachment, but you don't need to. Now that being said, you should never use a suppressor on this weapon just because 
it's all it's got a four shot kill range right and it's a four shot kill almost across the map second you put a suppressor on it it turns into a five shot kill and it becomes one of the worst weapons in the game never use a suppressor on the razorback unless you're really getting in really really close range which i highly highly do not recommend so you can put on any other attachment besides suppressor even some of the optics i like on this weapon even though the iron sights are so beautiful but the Razorback War Pig, which is the golden review, or golden review, I'm, pff, what am I saying? The golden variant that you're seeing today is the Razorback War Pig, and I am using on the War Pig the Grip and the Quick Draw, but for a very long time on this weapon, I used to use the Boa 3 sight for some, some strange reason. I just gravitated towards that sight on this weapon. I used the Boa 3, the Quick Draw, the Grip, and I believe it was Extended Mags, but I have since taken all of that stuff off in favor of more perks, and I only use the grip and the quick draw grip on the Razorback. I like to have the accuracy buffed just a little bit more because I'm just I'm crazy about having the most accurate weapon in the game. I like my weapon to do all the work for me. And quick draw, like I said, it will help you in those close range engagements. If you run into somebody using a VMP or you run into somebody using a CUDA that can kill you in only three shots or you run into even like a Vesper user at this point, Quick draw is going to help you to aim down your sights that little bit faster. Quick draw stacks with fast hands, and you'll you'll be able to get your shots on them just a little bit sooner than they can get their shots on you, and that might save your life in the long run. That is it for today's Golden Weapon Review, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave me a like. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. We do Call of Duty videos every single day. We also do bonus videos on all kinds of different games, like I mentioned at the beginning of this video. There may be a bonus video on Elder Scrolls Online tonight. It will probably be a shorter video. I've just got a little thing that I want to kind of rant about of that game and of the PlayStation 4 and the space, the hard drive space that is available on the PlayStation 4 in using that that freaking that game is it's so massive so i want to talk about that in an upcoming video hopefully that'll come out tonight if it does you guys will know first if you're following me on twitter at black tide tv and if you're subscribed so make sure you're doing both of those things i hope you enjoyed this video have a great day and i'll see you guys either tonight or tomorrow thanks so much for watching i think i've already said that a few times but thank you bye bye